Watching a plane take off is truly amazing. But the secret is that we don't fully understand how airplanes fly. While the Navier-Stokes equations theoretically describe the motion of fluids like air and can explain lift, solving them is exceptionally difficult. This difficulty is so profound that in 2000, the Clay Mathematics Institute offered a $1 million prize for solving these equations as part of their seven millennium problems. More than a century after the Wright brothers, a curious question persists. What generates lift? While oversimplified explanations often fall into two camps, the reality is more nuanced. One explanation emphasizes Bernoulli's principle and the equal transit time, noting that faster airflow over the curved upper surface of a wing reduces pressure contributing to the lift. Another focuses on Newton's third law, describing how a tilted wing deflects air downward, generating an upward reaction force. However, modern aerodynamics shows that lift results from a combination of these factors with complex interactions between airflow, pressure distributions, and the wing's shape and the angle of attack. Though the equal transit time theory is intuitive, it has flaws such as air not reuniting at the trailing edge and struggles to explain phenomena like inverted flight. The Newtonian theory, on the other hand, explains the role of angle of attack in deflecting air. Both theories contain valid elements. Bernoulli's principle explains pressure differences while Newton's laws describe the forces involved. The debate centers on how to integrate these principles into a unified explanation of lift. The physics of lift are complex and resist simplification. In a guess, the conservation of mass, momentum, and energy must all be considered simultaneously. Newton's laws of motion describe the conservation of momentum while Bernoulli's equation derives from the conservation of energy. Both principles play a role in generating lift and are valid within their respective context. However, the conservation of mass adds significant complexity to aerodynamic analysis. For instance, a change in gas velocity in one direction inherently alters its velocity in a perpendicular direction. This complexity grows even further in real-world phenomena like turbulence, making lift a challenging concept to fully grasp. Now, we understand that the theories like Bernoulli's principle and Newtonian concepts offered valuable insights, but oversimplified the intricate interactions involved in lift generation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.